So I just want to show you guys a quick video showing our power inverter situation here. So we're running 460 watts and 550 watts, and we'll show you what we're running back here. But it's as simple as hitting the button at the top left that puts it in generator mode. And uh, the engine, we just had it kick on for the first time since we've done this, and it ran for about a minute and 40 seconds, and that ended up turning back off. And it realistically, I think it ran for almost 11 minutes before the engine even kicked on. But uh, we'll show you what all we've got running out the back, and we'll show you what it's actually powering. So in the back here, we're using the L1430 connector to try to keep the load balanced. And we have two sections of what I'm about to show you. And then we're using our other 220s, just trying to keep everything as balanced as possible. And we're running a pretty massive video wall out here in a PA system, too. So I can't really play the audio on the speakers to let you hear the audio for copyright reasons on this movie. But we've got this set, and I'll go pretty far back here to where it won't do the more air effect on the video wall. But we've got this set at 80% brightness, which video panels take quite a bit of power. So pretty impressive for that. So all this is just running off the generator off of the 2022 hybrid F-150. And we've also got the PA system, and we've got plenty of power left to do other things. So pretty neat, and we will keep showing you more uses for it but I'm pretty confident that this guy will actually run one of our smaller concerts on one of our mobile stages. You can hear a little bit of noise going on from the truck, and that's basically just the radiator from the engine for the battery. And so that is just gonna be the radiator portion going to the battery, which is still electrically powered. So pretty neat. So I'm pretty sure this thing, and I've gotta do more research on it, but it's an electric water pump for the whole thing, whether it be the engine or the, uh, the battery itself so pretty cool and pretty neat that it runs all that so you can run a ton off and we are still off engine is not on and still 460 550 and so this will fluctuate with video playing and it catches up with it and since it's a sine wave inversion it does a great job I'm gonna try to get the mouse over here to where I can see it and start this back playing So close. There we go. Kill the audio here. We'll keep it low where it won't do anything, but you can hear speakers are producing a little. But on video walls, as the uh, pixels change to do the different colors, it does have a little bit of a power difference. So we'll see if we can see that and see how accurate this is. And it is changing here, which is what we kind of seem to expect. And with this size video wall, we couldn't keep it perfectly balanced because we're ending up having to do uh, three circuits to power it instead of our typical four circuits just because of the size of the video wall. But pretty neat. And you can also turn off the display on these. So if you just come in and hit this button right here, you can have the display just off to where it uses even less power. But I like to be able to see what's going on draw wise but if you're using this for camping or anything else you can do it and you can see our engine is totally off here so just really cool this is gonna be very useful for us my only complaint so far which i know they have to do it these are gfi outlets so since they are gfi you have to be really careful not to have any type of ground faults which for us what we do with audio and lighting ground faults are kind of created through the current of the audio and the lighting so just got to be careful with it but everything's working the way it should and we show you the back of the video panel just show you how many power cables actually go up to these things so we're about to go up in the air with it but you can see that we're linking power con for six panels going down and then getting those other five so it's basically a five five and a six load but pretty neat so we'll have more videos coming on what all this thing can do. So the engine just kicked back like, on. <laughs> and how long did it take it to kick off? Eight minutes. So we got eight minutes of runtime off the battery with that load, which is pretty nice. So we should be able to not use much fuel at all. So roughly, man, that wouldn't kick on hardly any per hour. So there's a good chance this might only use a gallon or two per hour with that type of load, which is pretty nice. But you've got the outlets that we showed on the back. There's another 20 amp that is back here in the back. And 
then there's another 20 amp in the front, which I also do have climate control on. Uh, so if you turn the air off and everything in here, it would probably make this last even longer in between. But you can see we've got a pretty massive amount of power coming on as we have this lit up with brighter colors. So we're running about 1220 and 730. So still nowhere near what these things can actually do, which is 3,600 watts on each one, which is pretty nice. And the engine is already turned off and I started this video right after it cranked up. So even less time, which is pretty incredible. So power fluctuating in real time. I don't know if you should truly use this as a way to check how much voltage you are drawing or wattage, but it seems to be pretty accurate and very clean power because the stuff that we have here is Oh man, the heated seats are on. Just saw that too. So yeah, we're drawing a lot of extra juice that we do not need to draw because we're not gonna have anybody in the truck when we're doing this. And our fan was on. So if we just turn the whole climate control off, which I haven't even looked to see if there is a button for that, maybe this is it. Yeah. So you actually just turn that off and the heated steering wheel is on. So that time might have been way more different than it should have been. So we might see again how long it'll go with this power before it kicks back on and get back to you in just a second. So we finally just kicked back on and Josh will give us a time in a minute. But we cranked that thing up a little bit, still playing, and God, we just kicked back off in 30 seconds. So still pulling somewhere around 1120 and 700 watts on that other side. So not bad at all. So I asked Josh, what was our time on that? 10.30. So how many minutes? If it kicks back on at 10.17. Oh, sweet. So 13 minutes? 13 minutes. So we got 13 minutes of run time just on battery, and then it ran for 20 to 30 seconds. It wasn't long at all for it to kick back on. So pretty cool. And then Ethan's going to do just a little bit of talking on a microphone. Wish we could play some music on there. But... Hey, check one, two. At least you can hear One, two, we're work. testing the Ford power. Check one, two. Pretty Built cool. Ford tough, baby. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah, the audio now hardly ever pulls any power compared to what it used to in the back in the long old days. So you would realistically get this speaker full tilt would be about four amps. Same thing with the other one. And we're running maybe 20% output. So really clean lots of power and now since we're in a darker part of the movie barely doing anything but of course if it gets brighter it would end up being a little bit different so pretty neat but if you have any questions or anything just give us a call we're going to post this on both of our channels that way more maybe more people will see what these things can do